What's up, guys? So I got an important message from the Lord. Um, I asked him to lead me to a page to read in the Bible, and he led me to John 1 dot dot 24. I am the voice of man calling out in the desert. Make the road straight for the Lord. In the group of Jews who who were sent, there were some Pharisees. They said to John, You say you are not Christ. You say you are not Elijah or the prophet. Then why do you baptize people? John answered, I baptize people with water, but there is one here with you that you don't know. He is the one who comes after me. I am not good enough to untie the strings of his sandals. This all happened at Ben. Ben Bethany, on the other side of the Jordan River. This is where John was baptizing people. The next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him. John said, Look, the Lamb of God, he takes away the sins of the world. This is the one I was talking about. I said, A man will come after me, but he is greater than I am because he was living before me. Even I did not know who he was, but I came baptizing with water so that the people of Israel could know who he is. Then John said, I did not know who the Christ was, but God sent me to baptize with water, and God told me, you will see the Spirit come down and rest on man. The man is the one who will baptize you with baptized with the Holy Spirit. John said, I saw, the ho I saw the Spirit come down from heaven. The Spirit looked like a dove and rested on him. I have seen this happen. So I tell people, He is the Son of God. The next day, John was there again with two of his followers. He saw Jesus walking by and said, Look, the Lamb of God. The two followers heard John say this, so they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him. He answered, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, where are you staying? Rabbi means teacher. Jesus said, uh, Jesus answered, Come with me. And you will see. So the two men went with Jesus. They saw the place where Jesus was staying and stayed there with him that day. It was then about four o'clock. These two men followed Jesus after they heard about him from John. One of the men was Andrew. I had a teacher who who, uh, Jesus used that teacher to lead me closer to God, and his name was Mr. Andrew. That's, wow. Um, anyways, uh, the first, uh, Andrew, uh, one of the men was Andrew. He was Simon Peter's brother. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother, Simon. He said to Simon, 
We have found the Messiah. The Messiah means Christ. Oh, so that dream when, when, um, that woman that woman looked up to the sky and said, "I saw the Messiah." It doesn't mean messenger. It means Christ. I saw the Messiah. Christ. Jesus looked at Simon and said, You are Simon, son of John. You will be called Capes. Capes means Peter. Then, next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip, and said to him, Follow me, Philip, was from the town. The power of his rising from death. I want to, sh I want to share in Christ's suffering, and become like him in his death. If I have those things, then I have hope that I myself will be raised from death. I do not mean that I already as. God wants me to be. I have not yet reached that goal, but I continue trying to reach it and to make it mine. Christ wants me to do that. That is the reason Christ made me his. Brothers, I know that I have not yet reached that goal, but there is one thing I always do. I forget the things that are past. I try as hard as I can to reach the goal that is before me. I keep trying to reach the goal and get the prize. That prize is mine because God called, called me through Christ to the life above. All of us who have grown spiritually to be mature should think this way too. And if there are things you do not agree with, God will make them clear to you. But we should continue following the truth we already have. Brothers, all of you should try to follow my example and, co and to copy those who live the way we showed you. Many people like, uh, live like enemies of the cross of Christ. I have often told you about them, and it makes me cry to tell you about them now. The way they live is leading them to destruction. Instead of serving God, they do whatever their bodies want. Flesh, their bodies, uh, want. They do shameful things, and they 
are proud of it. They think only about earthly things, but our homeland is in heaven, and we are waiting for our Savior, for uh, the Lord Jesus Christ to come from heaven. He will change our simple bodies and make them like his own glorious body. Christ can do this by his power. With that power, he is able to rule all things. My dear brothers, I love you and want to see you. You bring me joy and make me proud of you. Continue following the Lord. As I have told you, I ask Idua and Sintaishi to agree in the Lord. And because you serve faithfully with me, my friend, I ask you to help these women to do this. Uh, they served with me in telling people the good news. They served together with Clement and others who worked with me. Their names are written in the book of life. Be full of joy in the Lord always. I will say again, be full of joy. Let all men see that you are gentle and kind. The Lord is coming soon. Do not worry about anything, but pray and ask God for everything you need. And when you pray, always give thanks, and God's peace will keep your heart and minds in Christ, Jesus. The peace that God gives is so great we cannot understand it. Brothers, continue to think about the things that are good and worthy of praise. Think about the things that are true and honorable and right and pure and beautiful and respected. And do what you learned and received from me. Do what I told you and what you saw me do. And the Lord uh, and the God who gives peace will be with you. I am very happy in the Lord that you have shown your care for me again. You continued to care about me, but there was no way for you to show it. I am telling you this because it is not because I need anything. I have learned to be satisfied with the things I have and with everything that happens. I know how to live when I am poor. And I know how to live when I have plenty. I have learned the secret of being happy at any time in everything that happens. I have learned to be happy when I have enough to eat. And when I have enough to eat, I have learned to be happy when I have all that I need. And when I do not have the things I need, I can do all things through Christ because he gives me strength. But it was good that you helped me when I needed help. You people in Philipp Philippine remember when I first preached the good news there? When I left Mendona, you were the only church that gave me help several times. You spent 
You sent me things I needed when I was in these Salonica. Really, it is not that I want to receive gifts from you, but I want you to have the good that comes with gi from giving. And now I have everything and more. I have all I need because it prodeus brought your gift to me. Your gift is like a sweet-smelling sacrifice offered to God. God accepts that sacrifice and it pleases him. My God will use his wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. Glory to our God and Father forever and ever. Amen. Greet each of God's people in Christ. Greet each of God's people in Christ. God's people who are with me send greetings to you. All of God's people greet you. And those and those believers from the place of Caesar greet you too. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Wow. All that was from the Bible. I hope you guys have a great day. God bless you and uh this is called, this was 313, the Philippines. What the Christians are to do. What the Christians are to do. I have a feeling, right here, it, it was saying that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Let me go back. It's saying all the... Hold on one second. I'm looking for it. Anyways, you you heard it. Jesus Christ is coming soon. It's in there. Guys, the Lord, he's telling you. Keep focusing on him. Keep growing spiritually. Don't ever give up on Jesus. Be kind to your brothers and sisters, and be wise. Um, use the Word of God to help other people to learn yourself, the Word of God. And remember that the Lord is always with you, and He will never leave you. And uh, pretty soon we'll be going up in heaven, and we'll be changed, we'll be in God's image. Physically, spiritually, and mentally. And we will no longer have the flaws that we have here. And remember, this world is temporary. Jesus is coming any moment, any second now. Just got to be patient. Know that the Lord is coming soon. God bless you guys. Hope you have a great day. And amen. And keep reading those Bibles. And keep focusing on the Lord. And keep spreading the word of God to your brothers and sisters. Amen. And keep repeating this to yourself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I have been created in the image of Christ. Anything that anyone says to me in this world that is unkind, I will not listen to them because I listen only solely to the word of Christ. Well, God bless you guys and hope you have a great day. Amen.